Hey guys, Tickerbox here. I am back with another biotech company. However, this one I do like a whole lot. It is Oxygen, ticker symbol is OCGN. Oxygen primary mission was to develop gene therapies to cure blindness diseases. I really like what they have in their pipeline even though they're still in the preclinical stages they are looking for treatments for retinal degeneration diabetic macular edema diabetic retinopathy which is very very common now and wet age related macular degeneration so back in late december oxygen announced that they were going to partner with barat biotech to commercialize their COVID-19 vaccine called Covaxin. Come February 2nd, they announced that they enter into a definitive agreement to co-develop, supply, and commercialize Barat Biotech's Covaxin. And that's what made the stock soar to about $3.73 on February 2nd. After that, it's been cruising very nicely until this past Friday when it soared to $5. It went up 64% after hours. Something that we all need to know is that India is a vaccine making powerhouse. They make about 60% of the entire world's vaccines. So before we all jump into this Covaxin train, we need to know if it is reliable and whether this company Barat Biotech has a leg to stand on. Barat Biotechs make a whole lot of vaccines. They have BioHip, which is for Haemophilus Influenza, the flu vaccine. They have BioPolio, Comvac, which is a DTP, diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis vaccines. They have Covaxin, which is the one for COVID-19, HNVac for H1N1, Indirap for rabies, Genvac for Japanese encephalopathy, the, the Revax for hepatitis B, the Rotavac for rotavirus, and the tip bars for typhoid. So India right now has two vaccines already circulating, Covaxin from Bharat Biotech and Covishield, which is the local name for the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine that was developed in the UK. Something to remember is that Covaxin was previously granted emergency use authorization by India's Central Licensing Authority back in January. It is still undergoing phase three trials. It consists of two doses giving 28 days apart. Another great thing about Covaxin is that it can be stored at two to eight degrees centigrade, which is your regular refrigerator temperature. So Oxygen's job is not, has nothing to do with the development of the vaccine. The vaccine exists right now, but they're going to take on all the aspects of US-based responsibilities. They're going to work on the clinical development, regulatory approval, and commercialization of Covaxin. Barat Biotech, in return, will be eligible to get 55% of the United States sales profits of Covaxin and Oxygen will keep the other 45%. So this is really, really good news for Oxygen. And even if this takes a little while, while Covaxin is going undergoing phase three, if the US finds that we really need another vaccine circulating that is stable at refrigerator temperatures and not ultra cold temperatures, this is going to be huge for oxygen stock. One of the huge boosts that oxygen got this Friday was that HC Brainwright, one of their analysts, raised oxygen stocks rating to a buy and set a $4.50 price on its shares. Another great thing about Covaxin is that it shows activity against the UK strain of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. So guys, Oxygen is looking great, not so much in what they have in their pipeline for treating and curing blindness diseases, but the partnership with Barat Biotech is 
that if they actually manage to make Covaxin a candidate for U.S. COVID-19 vaccines along with Pfizer and Moderna, the stock is not only going to pop, it's going to be worth a whole lot of money. And if you buy it at this price right now, not $5 but 8 I think it's still a bargain compared to Moderna and Pfizer. Thank you for listening. Let me know if you're interested in Ocugen or you think that this is a complete waste of time and you're still stuck on Vaxxer. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to hear more about biotech companies in case it's not being covered enough because I will tell you what I think and I'm not going to tell you that it's going to shut up to the moon if I really don't believe so. Thank you and have a nice trading tomorrow Monday.